Hello Internets, it's your boy Bobby D once again and I'm here with one of my favorite chorus pedals in the world. Way back in the 80s I was on tour and both of my small clones had died in Alabama somewhere and I had to go to some little podunk music store and try to find a chorus pedal and I found a cheap $30 chorus pedal at a store in I think it was Selma, Alabama and uh, they had just gotten these pedals in called Arion, and I bought an Arion chorus and actually liked it, believe it or not. It was a good sounding pedal, and those pedals have continued to be a favorite of a lot of people. Now look at what you got here. Yeah. You see that label down there? That's the EWS chorus. They have modified the Arion. You've got a chorus vibe switch. You got True Bypass, and basically they've kind of uh, reworked it to be usable to the professional, and it sounds fantastic. Um, I was a little bit concerned that the newer version of this pedal wasn't going to sound as good as the original 80s choruses, but this one sounds great. Um, and this is the new SCHZ. It's not the SCH1. So I'm going to let you hear it. Here's my clean sound. I also got the EP booster here from Exotic. So I can turn on the EP booster just to, just to warm it up a little bit. And of course I got a touch of deep blue delay. Oh yeah. I'm going to start out with some of the more subtle chorus sounds that I like. Um, this pedal can really do it all from a slow, like pitch shifty kind of dimension y chorus all the way up to some extreme Leslie and warbly effects like Mike Landau uses and stuff. So, enough talking, let's get playing. <laughs> take it down real slow and let you hear how slow this thing will get. You've got that slow speed with uh, a high depth setting. Sounds really good if you want to use some distortion in front of it. I'm going to kick on the EWS fuzzy drive for that. <laughs> Thank you. 
saying that. And then if you want to get like all Alex Lifeson and get that, get your rush on, you just want to turn the depth down a little bit, turn the speed up a little bit, and all of a sudden it's hemispheres all the way back to 76, baby. <laughs> Takes me back, baby. <laughs> I love that sound. All right, now let's play around with some of the faster settings and get some of that, some of that, that Leslie sound going. I like that. You can totally comp some organ parts if you adjust your playing. It's really the way you attack the strings and the chords you use. You can totally get an organ sound out of this pedal if you work it right. It's all up to you. That's on the chorus setting. I'm going to switch it over to the vibrato setting, this little switch up here, and you'll hear the difference. It's much thicker and quite a bit more pitch shifting going on. Bring the depth down a little bit. as it'll go right there. There's the depth. <laughs> something I like uh, a lot of people aren't gonna dig this sound but I dig this sound this is the the Bill Frizzell is what I call this I really love this kind of sound check this out all right Thank you. 
very cool sound. I really like that. And that's on the vibrato mode. We're gonna switch back over to chorus, and I'm gonna take it to Andy Summers land for a little while because Andy Summers is definitely one of my favorite players. Uh, very influ influential to me growing up. <laughs> This is just a great chorus unit. I'm going to be using it in a lot of different demos coming up, so you will hear some more. The EWS Stereo Chorus. EWS Modified Arion SCHZ. If you're a chorus lover like me, you got to get one. Bobby D, thank you for watching my demos. Hit the subscribe button. Make sure to keep playing and have fun.